Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Storytime with Mr. Ryan. Today's story is Those Darn Squirrels Fly South by Adam Ruman with illustrations by Daniel Salmieri. You might be wondering, hmm, what happens to birds in the winter? Where do they go? December, January, February, even March? I can never seem to find those birds twittering up in the trees. Well, it might surprise you to find out that during the winter, birds like to fly south where it's nice and warm and they don't have to endure the chilling cold weather. Well, we're going to learn that those squirrels get a little jealous of those birds and they follow them down south too. Let's hop on in, shall we? Old Man Fookwire lived at the edge of a town in a beautiful forest full of birds and squirrels. But he was such a grump. He scolded fireflies for being too bright. He yelled at clouds for being too fluffy. And when the lilacs bloomed, he pinched his nose with a clothespin so he wouldn't have to smell their scent. Even for a grump like Fookwire, it had been a glorious summer indeed. He'd spent most of his time painting the colorful birds that visited his backyard. Sometimes, by accident, he painted a squirrel. Other times, the squirrels painted themselves. Then Fookwire would shake his old man fist and shout, Those darn squirrels! But now it was fall. The weather had turned crisp. The leaves had changed colors. And soon the birds would fly south for the winter. Fookwire would have to endure the long, cold winter months alone. Hmm. Well, not exactly alone. The squirrels would be there, too. Normally, the squirrels spent winters playing ping pong, building ships and models, and knitting. But this year, they had other plans. They were curious about where the birds went for winter vacation. So they decided to follow them. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels have a comprehensive understanding of aerodynamic engineering. They built gyrocopters from pine cones. They built gl gliders from leaves. They even built a zeppelin from an old shopping bag. Wow. When the first frost arrived, the bonga birds took off, followed by the baba birds and the yaba birds. They circled the house, waved goodbye to Fuquire, goodbye, and headed south. The flugel bird spent a few minutes scarving up the last of the farple seeds, and then he took off, too. Fookwire pouted as the sound of flapping wings faded into the distance. He turned to go inside and heard a rustling in the trees, a rustling followed by a whirr. A whirr followed by a buzz. It was the squirrels launching their flying machines one by one. Some of the aircraft flew straighter than others, but eventually they all flew up, up, and away from the harvest-colored treetops and into the cool blue autumn air. The old man could hardly believe his eyes. Great googly moogly, he said. 
It's a whole flock of flying squirrels. <laughs> the squirrels followed the flugel birds for days. They flew through the night. They flew through the rain. They even flew through turbulence. Finally, just when the squirrels thought they couldn't fly any longer, the flugel birds swooped down and landed gracefully on a beach. The squirrels landed with a crunch. <laughs> the beach was so warm and beautiful, and the squirrels were so happy to be done flying, they decided to have a fiesta. They went swimming and ate mangoes with salt and lime. Mm -mm. They played the marimba and danced the merengue. The party lasted all night long. Over the next few weeks, the squirrels made themselves right at home. There were many new plants to snack on. There were so many new birds to see. There were cocoa birds, kiki birds, and caramba birds. There were too many birds to count. One of the birds reminded the squirrels of someone they knew. Hmm? I wonder who it could be. Deep in the snowy woods, a strange noise woke old man Fuquire from his nap. It was coming from the telephone. He was getting a call. Bring, bring. When he picked up the receiver, the operator asked, if he would accept the charges for a long-distance call from the village of Santa Vaca. Then there was a chattering on the line. Those darn squirrels, shouted Fuquire. The old man missed the birds, and even though he would never admit it, he missed the squirrels too, so he decided to join them. Fuquire had a car that he kept under a tarp. It was in a shed by the stream. He bought it back in 1957, and he only drove it twice. He loaded it up with his easel, paints, and brushes, fixed himself a snack of snot cottage cheese with pepper, and hit the road. Then he drove 12 miles an hour all the way to Santa Vaca. That's pretty slow. The nice people behind him had plenty of time to admire his car. <laughs> Finally, Fuquire arrived in the little village. He spotted the flugel bird flying overhead and followed him to the beach. Then he got out of the car and the squirrels gave him a big hug. Maybe it was the nice weather. Maybe it was the beautiful scenery. Maybe it was the squirrels dancing in his pants. But for the first time in a very long time, the old man laughed. Ha ha ha! Soon, Fuquire set up his easel and began to paint the local birds. Dabba doo! sang the cuckoo bird. Bada boo boo, sang the kiki bird. Fuquire was overjoyed. The birds here are even more amazing than the birds back home, he exclaimed. Harumph, muttered the floggle bird. The sun was very hot and Fuquire sweated, but he kept on painting. Fuquire sweltered, whew, but he kept on painting. Then Fuquire slumped forward, face first, into his painting. Uh-oh. The squirrels dragged the old man into the shade and gave him some water. He was as red as a bonga bird. Oh, no. He decided it was time to go home. The squirrels decided to go with him. They'd had a wonderful vacation, but after all, 
it was almost time for their annual snow fort building competition. They had one last snack of mango, mm -mm, and then Fookwire waved goodbye to the birds, and they all piled into the car. The trip back home was much quicker for all of them because the squirrels drove most of the way. Those darn squirrels! Well, thank you all very much for joining me. I love this story. The, those Darn Squirrels is a whole series by Adam Rubin, so be sure to check out some of the other titles in this awesome series. I had a lot of fun reading with you guys today. I, had, I hope you had a lot of fun reading with me as well. Please feel free to check out some of my other stories on this channel, or if you're looking for some for, more fun activities you can do from home, don't hesitate. Visit veronolibrary.org slash children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.